Hi guys and welcome to my weekly update. It is now, um, I don't know, week five I suppose, and what a testing week it has been. It's one of those weeks where the buyers just want to, you know, you just, ah, one of those weeks with buyers, 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 buyers. Sometimes you love them, but sometimes geez, are playing hard. And it's because the market's changed and that's what spurred on the, the vendor management where I've had to um, tell a lot of my owners that they have to get real they have to really adjust their price because we we're probably spot on you know a month ago but um, now we're not the prices have, have dropped again and the buyers are telling us that so we had about six or seven offers and um, and they were all low and the buyers do hold the power so I suppose I'm switching my negotiation and, and stuff for more effort and more focus on really educating owners and really telling them if they're not going to get it then take your house off the market and um, and last week I took about three or four off the market and I've got a few more to have some hard chats to. So it's either reduce your price or you won't be selling. And um, and with buyers, I think you've got to develop a closer relationship. Now, uh, the trick it really is, you know, have quality buyers and quality stock. But um, unfortunately, sometimes the quality stock has to, has to change. So I've done that. Now, this week has gone okay. I've got quite a few good buyer inspections and I think out of the buyer inspections so far, in the next few days, we'll probably turn over about two or three more sales. So that's quite good, but yes, a very testing week. One of those weeks where you just think, ah, oh, what am I doing? So not very progressive. Um, listings wise, we didn't really get that many. So I'm not, didn't reach my target, which is something I do have to work on. So the focus was sort of pushed away from it. It is in my diary. So, you know, I have to uh, give myself a little slap for, uh, for not following that. So I know what my numbers are. I'll have to catch, catch them up next week. Um, we're refocusing. I think when you just, it's one of those weeks where we just had a down week. Everyone's going to have one. Um, but I picked myself up, so yes. Buyers are there. Um, we, we're redoing our, our CMA, so our CMA is nearly done, like Matt Steinwaits. And, um, and we've also got a bit more prospecting. I've got a few good, a few good listings coming on as well. So um, I had a chat to some past clients, and they're coming on the market, and they listen to me. So the thing is, when um, they were hoping to go on and say like 359, I told them, no, your real price is about 319, 320, and that's what he's gonna do. So I think you really have to nurture relationships, especially in this market. In this market, you really have to nurture your relationships with buyers and sellers. And if they're new sellers, you really gotta get on that really quick. And, uh, and maybe it's even better talking to past clients. So um, guys, get your stock in order. Dead stock is no good. You may as well just take it off the market. You don't need the effort, you don't need the headache. Um, real estate is tough enough as it is and let's just go out there and make it a better week so it is going to turn out all right we've got some pretty hot buyers on our system now we're cleaning everything up and dealing with quality it makes a lot of difference to your energy levels your confidence and everything so that was my week i'll fill you in later see ya